Hey all, it's Scott from Your365 Coach. Today we're going to be covering a topic many of you have asked about in the comments. How can you use a new Microsoft Planner experience inside of Microsoft Teams? Because yes, the app which we know as Tasks by Planner and To-Do has since changed its name and even has a new look and feel. So I'm going to be explaining how we can use the new capabilities in a new Planner app in Teams so you can stay on top of all of your important tasks. And before we dive in, I'd love it if you hit that like button so let me know this content has helped you and also the all important subscribe button so you can get the most from the tools you already have with our new video content every week. So let's dive into new planner experience in Teams and find out how you can get the most from it. So you've joined me in Microsoft Teams and we're gonna get started by opening the new planner app in Teams and it's really easy to do. And go down to the free dot menu on your left hand rail in Teams and you can see planner here We'll just type in the word planner to find this app. By left clicking, you'll see the planner app then loads in Teams. Well, optionally, you can also pin it to get back to it quickly. Right click the planner icon on the left and then select pin to now ensure that the app is available every time you start Teams without going anywhere near that free dot menu. With our app now pinned in Teams, we can get started and understand how this app works and how it can also simplify all of your tasks. And now the Planner app is accessible to us, we can go ahead and select My Tasks. This section gives us a view of all of your tasks over all your, of your different plans. Yes, the free Planner, Microsoft Planner Premium, Microsoft To Do, and even a list of all of your different emails that you've flagged. You can see them all in this single view inside of the new Planner app. As we can see here, we also segment the tasks. We can see all of them, but these private tasks have actually been allocated under a Microsoft To Do plan or a personal Microsoft Planner plan itself. The Assign to Me gives a view of all of our assigned tasks and of course all of our flagged emails, meaning we can now access these emails directly from the Planner app by selecting the eye icon to open the task and all we need to do is left click the email at the bottom to open it inside of Outlook, a cool way to stay on top of all of your emails. But the problem is the My Task view can become very cluttered and that's where we can also use filters. On the right hand side, the filters allow us to sort by due dates, priorities or progress. For example, I might be interested in tasks I haven't started and I could then filter this view and also where well, they're gonna be due this week. And I can see there are two private tasks I need to get done. It's a helpful way to navigate through all of your tasks in that view. But you also don't wanna do that every time. You're likely to want to focus on tasks for a particular day. And that's where the My Day section comes into your Planner app. The My Day section here lists all of the different tasks you have due today. But as you mentioned, the tasks I want to have a view of these two to get sorted today in readiness for the due date. What I can easily do here is click the free dot menu and select add to My Day to each of these two tasks. By also selecting My Day, you'll now see you have a view of them in this single place. By going back to My Tasks, we can clear our filters on the right hand side by selecting Clear All. But don't worry, those tasks in My Day will still be visible, ensuring you can now focus on them and get them done. And also, any tasks that are due today with a due date will also appear automatically in the My Day section, ensuring you have a view of all of your important tasks. And clearing them off is really easy. Check the box and it will then clear that task. If you've done it incorrectly, just again, just click the same button and it will mark it as not being completed. In addition, any task by clicking the eye icon have a detail section. You can add notes, checklists and progresses and more to be able to keep on top of all of your tasks across the new planner experience. Task management in Microsoft 365 shouldn't be difficult, but it can be complicated. Yes, you've got a range of tools to choose from. Microsoft Planner Premium, Microsoft Planner, also Microsoft To Do, Lists and Loop. With all of those different apps, what's the right one to do the right job? Well, that's where our latest on-demand masterclass comes in. We spend hours building bespoke video content to show you what the tools do and how they can work for you. You can find out more at the link below. If you even prefer live training for you and your team, there's also options to do that as well. And of course, if you'd like to learn more about Microsoft 365, or just have a helping hand, reach out to us at Your365 Coach via the link below once again. Otherwise, let's dive back into new planner experiences 
and find how best you can use them. But what about all of your plans? Some tasks won't be allocated to you, but you need to keep on top of all of those different tasks in your plans. Well, that's where the section for my plans comes in on the left hand side. You'll now see all of those different plans. Once again, across all of those different task management apps that we mentioned earlier. The benefit here is you could also further filter them. Shared plans, personal plans where only you are a member of, such as Microsoft to do, or a planner with only yourself as the owner, any pin plans, and even better, if you have Microsoft Teams and you have these plans in, you can see the plans for each of the teams, as you can see here. Any of the plans we see can be easily accessed by left clicking into them. And you'll see them directly through the new planner app by going anywhere near the web. You can also return back by selecting my plans and once again, select any and you'll be able to review them inside of the app once again. So my plans is a powerful area to stay on top of all of your plans across all of your different projects. But a question we often have is how can you add a plan to one of your teams using this new experience? Well, it's very similar to the old way we did this before. Head into any of your Microsoft Teams and you'll see a plus icon on all of your channels. By left clicking, you'll now be looking for the app called Planner. And by left clicking, you'll now be able to create a brand new plan. Or if one already exists, you can select that and look in the drop down available. But in this team, we don't have any plans whatsoever. So let's go back and create a new plan and click on save. We can now see the plan has been created inside of our Microsoft team. We can now begin adding tasks and also sharing them with our colleagues. So the planner app can also be added into any of your existing teams. But what about creating brand new plans that maybe you don't want associated to a team just yet? While the new planner app delivers that by left clicking into it again, head back into my plans and select new plan in the top right. You can now select from a range of templates or alternatively create one from scratch with the two options above. If you have a Planner Premium license, you can also use Planner Premium capabilities, allowing you to create a plan for you and your team. But by default, all plans you create now in a new Planner app will be secured to you originally, unless you optionally select it from one of your groups or teams to be associated against. But the Planner app now provides a new way to create all of your plans in one single place. So as we can see, the new planner experience in Teams can do so much more. Stay on top of all of your tasks, create plans, get a view of your day, and even filter through all of your tasks across all of those different technologies. It's an app that can save so much time if you use it in the right way. So what do you think about the new planner experience in Microsoft Teams? I'd love to know in the comments below, especially if you have more questions that we can cover in a later video as well. Personally, I like the way it brings all of our tasks together in a single place. In the past, it was very difficult to bring all of your tasks, especially into Microsoft Teams. But as we use Teams every single day, it can often become the hub for our own work and keeping our tasks in there makes it even easier to stay on top of them all. But of course, apps like Microsoft Lists, well, they won't show tasks in this way because they're not powered by Planner. So it does have a couple of known limitations. But outside of that, I'd love it if you hit that like button so let me know this content has helped you. The all important subscribe button to find more great content like this every single week designed to help you get more for the tools you already have. And other than that, well, as you know, I'll be seeing you on the next one. <laughs>